We are getting close to the most wonderful time of the year when many of us are caught up in the spirit of generosity, but it's important that you don't miss out on the opportunities to be tax efficient with your charitable giving as a part of the financial plan. Now, Chris Hobart is with Hobart Wealth in Charlotte and as the nationally recognized financial commentator, published author, and investment advisor representative, Chris has been featured in Clippinger Personal Finance Magazine, U.S. News, U.S. Today, and more, yada, yada, yada. It goes <laughs> on because you are the base and you are the bomb. Let us talk about giving yeah. because this is a big time. Why is it so important at this time in the stage to start giving? Well, you know, obviously today's Giving Tuesday, right? Yes, so it it's is. on everybody's mind. But I think what's important is you've got to boil it down to some key important facts. And this is what we, what we call the when of giving, the what of giving, and the how of giving. Um, so let's dig into that a little okay, bit. Okay, yeah, okay. So when we talk about the when of giving, a lot of times it's just, ah, I just feel like giving, or he sees, uh, you, you know, it's Tuesday, I'm going to give on Giving it's Tuesday. It's sometimes just spontaneous like that. Yeah, but yes. the reality is giving strategically uh, can be tax advantageous and estate advantageous for you, your heirs, as well as charity. The other thing is when you're thinking about when to give, it's about cash flow, making sure that it is appropriate for your, your income coming in and, and really what the long-term plan is. The other thing that we have to look at is what to give. A lot of times the easy thing is cash or write a check. You go to church, you write a check, uh -huh. it's done. But the reality is there are other oftentimes better ways to give. Uh, highly appreciated assets like stocks or you real estate. You can give some of your stocks. Yeah, you can give your stocks or real estate and there's tax benefits to that. One big thing right now that, uh, that people really need to think about that are uh, 73 or older, they can give their required minimum distribution okay. directly to a charity. Uh, this is what's called a QCD, something that folks really need to be looking at. So again, making sure that the the uh, what to give is mm. thought out more than just writing a check. And finally, the how to give. How do you give? Uh, uh, again, direct giving is the biggest thing. It's where you know people give directly, but you can bequest things. Um, you can do a charitable trust. You can do a, gotcha. um, a, a lot of different manners to be able to give. Here's what it boils down to. Uh, being intentional allows you to get the best benefit for yourself. Gotcha. I, not that it's all about you, but it's also good for yourself, your heirs, as well as the charity itself. So how does uh, our viewers out there, how do they develop a plan? Yeah, well, you know, fortunately with, with what we do, we work with people that have done well savings, right? Yep. Uh, so they've spent their, their life savings, they've done the heavy lifting. What we help people do is address things like, how do you give charitably and how do you build that structure? The other thing is to consider with all of this though, is having the conversation of how does it impact you tax-wise? There are some tax benefits to giving money away or giving your stuff away, making sure that that factors into how your heirs are treated as well. I think the key here is being more intentional than simply giving sporadically. Okay, but you also say don't uh, understand the full impact of your giving and tax implications. Can you just reiterate that? Well, look, as you begin to build up more and more wealth, right, you have to start thinking about uh, the impact that that money can have both to the charity, but also to yourself. So when we're talking about that, the more wealth you build up uh, and the things we talk with your viewers about are gonna be things around, hey, how do I make sure that I'm getting the best tax advantageous yes. treatment of my money? A lot of people have saved up money in IRAs and 401ks, that's all taxable. It is. Giving strategy can help address that. It's also talking about mm. uh, having a strategy for a legacy, whether it's to a charity or to your family. Also, let's talk about the bigger things that are going on right now uh, that are impacting people from an investment st uh, standpoint, which would be volatility, really high inflation, mm -hmm. higher interest rates. So all of these types of factors can can really boil into making some decisions on how to give, what to give, where to give, and when to give. And it makes you feel good to go ahead and give. Yeah, exactly. That's well, not the benefit of it. And here's the thing. At the end of the day, you're giving because you want to. There's those side benefits. Uh, and, and we love helping people figure out all those side benefits. But at the end of the day, man, you just love to give because you can give. Just make sure if you're going to give, if there's a benefit that's due you, Make sure you yeah, get don't it. Don't walk away don't from walk it, away right? From it. Yeah. Um, and I think that's our big passion. When we sit down with folks, whether it's a giving strategy or, hey, how do I make sure I've got uh, income that's going to last and maintain my lifestyle as prices are going up? I, whatever the questions that folks have, that's what we love to answer. Okay, so where can we get more information? This is fascinating. Yep. So, so as we, uh, if, if anybody wants to talk with us about either giving or any of the other uh, topics that we talked about, they can give us a call at 704-703-5656, or you can text that same number. Just text the word visit to that number. We can set up a time to talk. It's not a commitment to do anything. 
look, get some free advice. Uh, who doesn't like free advice? Who doesn't like free advice? Indeed. Thank you very much for being here, sir. Thanks, bud.